There's nothing worse than the feeling that you get when you go to your website and you realize that it's been hacked. Unfortunately, hackers are getting more and more sophisticated every day and they can easily gain access to your website, even if you have a strong password. That's where two-factor authentication comes in. Two-factor authentication is a simple way to add an extra layer of security to your website. The great thing about it is when you enable it, even if the hacker manages to steal your password, they still won't be able to log into your site without also having access to your phone or another secondary device. In this video, I'll show you how to enable two-factor authentication for your website, and we'll cover it step-by-step step so you can get up and running quickly. So let's dive in. The best way to do this is to log into your WordPress dashboard, and we're going to install a plugin. So we'll head over to plugins, add new, and we want to search for WP2FA. We're looking for the two-factor authentication for WordPress. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it and activate the plugin before we leave here as well. From here, you'll get a quick wizard if you want to set that up. As you see here, there are two of these checked. We wanna make sure that they are checked and we can continue with the setup. From here, you want to decide how you want to enable this. If you choose all users, there will be a grace period for when they log in, but then they'll need to set this up. So let's continue the setup. And then you can also choose to exclude anyone from this if you'd like and exclude any roles if you'd like. And then from here, you want to give them the grace period before they have to set things up. Once we have everything set up, we'll click all done. And now we can either choose to close it or we can configure the 2FA now. Let's go ahead and configure this now. Once it does that, it will take me right into my profile. So it will take you right into your profile to set this up. On this authentication method, you want to choose the one-time code generated with your app. So usually that is with your phone. So you'll want to be able to choose your phone as a, choose an app on your phone to be able to do this. You could also do over email. That's less secure because they can easily get access to your email address as well. A one-time code generated in an app on your choice is a much better option. So let's click sec next. And from here, you see there are several different apps down at the bottom that you can choose from. And this is the QR code that you'll want to use your phone to scan it. For this, we recommend Authy simply because if you don't have access to your phone or something happens to your phone, then you still are able to log in to the app on a desktop or what have you and still access it. With other items like Google Authenticator, and I'll tell you this from personal experience, that if you upgrade your phone or if you move your phone, you forget to make that change, you no longer have access to the Google Authenticator and you can no longer get in. You'll have to set up a different way to get in. So for this one, I'm gonna set it up through Authy. And so you want to download Authy to your phone. And then once we do this, we'll go on to the next step. Once you install Authy on your phone, then you want to click add account. And then once you add an account, it'll ask you to scan the QR code. This is where we're going to scan what's on our site. Once you add it, you'll enter an account nickname. So the name of the website and click save. And now you'll have the tokens running. So now we can say we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, now we need to give it the authentication code that we're seeing on our phone right now. Great, once we sent that, put that in, it says that it's now all authentication is set up and we can make our website more secure. And so you can choose to generate a list of backup codes if you wanna do that. And just in case something else happens, you can do that and you can have those saved. Just for this purpose, I'm going to say I'll generate those later but you'll definitely wanna look at doing that. So now I'm going to log out. And then when I log back in, it will ask me to do the authentication code. So I'll just log back into my Authy, find the number and log in. So the cool thing about WP2FA is it enables two-factor authentication. Now with websites like Google or Facebook, some of these others that also enable it, you can say, don't ask again for this device and WP2FA also does that, but it's for the paid plan. So if you want to stick with a free version, then you'll just have to add that authentication code every time you log in. And another step in getting your website secure is by enabling or installing a secure socket layer or an SSL certificate on your website. That just means that when people come to visit your site, what they're seeing and what they're submitting for instance, if you have an e-commerce store, what they're submitting, their orders and stuff is all encrypted. So you want to make sure you check out this video next as I walk you through step by step on how to install and set up a secure socket layer certificate or an SSL certificate on your website. And I'll see you over there.